colleagues here are all women. They are also experts at the inner workings of almost every kind of vehicle that can be found on the roads of the city. Nine years ago, Agrebo Ekperu decided to use her growing mechanics business to empower disadvantaged women. Over 300 students have undergone training at the garage since the initiative began. These girls, they need a lot of mentorship and counseling because it's not just that they want to be out there in the cold for one reason or the other to make money. A lady mechanic are coming to the state to rescue them from all that trafficking, from being female traffickers to female mechanics are more productive and more independent and have dignities. Up to 7,962 US dollars is invested in each of the ladies for a three-year industrial training course. Part of that money goes to paying salaries of about 32 US dollars that the girls can use to survive and cater for their basic needs. Graduates are then either employed by the garage or by other car repair shops. Others start their own businesses. Stability and a steady income is something many women here have never had. Some say Agrebo Ekperu saved their lives. 21-year-old Happiness Okpeyan, who spent two years as an illegal immigrant in Spain, where her aunt tried to introduce her into prostitution, is glad Sandro came into her life. He had finally removed me from shame, from disgrace, and from, from poverty, as in from arrogant as in, he had brought me out, he has showed me life. Working in a male-dominated field is not easy. Car owners are often reluctant to leave their vehicles in the hands of a woman. For those who dare, Agobo Ekperu says there is always positive feedback. We just graduated 47 female mechanics in Benin about two weeks ago and now I'll be happy to tell you that 40 of them already got employment with various car companies in Nigeria. We are not like a resource center where car companies go to to knock on the doors of Lady Mechanic Initiative. We need staff in the workshop. We need technicians and we are able to give them. They test them and they employ them. Angela Izumen, trained under Agrebo Ekperu for three years and now owns her own garage in Lagos, where she makes enough to care for her four children. Number one, people respect me for me being a mechanic. I'm a mother, I have four kids, before going to learn mechanic job. So when I went, people was like, ah, why do you choose to go and learn mechanics? That is what I want. People were like, well, let us see. So. I go, to, I go and uh, I thank God for everything. I learned for the three years without no problem. So today I'm on my own. Students at the Lady Mechanics Initiative Garage also benefit from the corporate and individual sponsorship. And there are plans to expand the program within the country and the region.